come in? Or am I out here by myself? <laughs> come on. <laughs> Good morning, my love. Hello. for me today I just thought I would try something and it may become a regular thing it may not we shall see but today is just a really really good summary of basically anything apart from teaching but obviously I can never vlog that anyway of like what I would get up to in a regular day so today is the 9th of October Friday the 9th of October and I just have some of my lockdown job to crack on with this morning and then I'm going to take little Tilly who is our golden retriever puppy for a walk and then later on this evening I have a gig at Grittleton House down in Chippenham which is one of my absolute favourite wedding venues to play at so I thought I would bring you guys along for the ride just something a little bit new I was watching a load of Carrie Hope Fletcher's vlogs and I love watching her vlogs because if you don't know who she is, she is a West End singer currently playing Cinderella in the kind of reimagined Cinderella story on the West End. And I just love her vlogs because it's so interesting for me as a musician to see what other musicians get up to in their day to day life. So yeah, I will bring you along in my day and I hope you guys enjoy. But round about now I should probably go and actually get dressed and get on with my day. Go. Okay, I thought I'd just like set you up there whilst I get ready for the day. For me, like obviously, a lot of my job involves being at home during the day, but like getting ready in the morning is definitely something. You know, I've spoken about it before when you're working from home and having a routine and doing all of that. It just makes such a difference so I I do try and you know get up and get dressed I mean full disclosure I have <laughs> leggings on right now I'll put jeans on later when I leave <laughs> maybe <laughs> I try and turn up to uh venues if I'm not turn, like turning up in my blacks at least kind of you know vaguely presentable <laughs> but it does just make such a difference like if I don't get ready then I won't have as good of a day. I just won't. It's just, it's as simple, it's as simple as that. And I won't go into too much detail about like what I'm using because I have another channel for that. If you didn't know, I actually have like a beauty and makeup YouTube channel, which has just kind of been, I mean, to be honest, it was a lockdown project that I have been really enjoying it's just you know it's a bit more chill something totally different and um yeah so I'll have that linked in the description bar if you are also into that kind of thing I would find that interesting but, you know you don't have to but this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the shade Eden so it's the one with like some pigment in it which I do like but I think I'm going to try the clear one next just because I think that would be more more universal and then I'm just using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer as an eyeshadow because this is the easiest thing just to whack all over the lid and then I don't have to think about it. Something 
something you might not know about me, I am completely and utterly in every single way um, addicted to Vimto. <laughs> I probably drink like three or four of these a day. <laughs> I readjusted a shelf in the cupboard to fit the bigger bottles of Vimto. good thing or a bad thing to be honest. To encourage you to not give up your healthy eating because you feel like it's too hard. Definitely. Some some recipes can be difficult and complex and take Okay, so it's a few hours later now and I'm sorry if you can't really see me because the sunshine is really really bright but I'm going to sit in my window and do a bit of practice. I'm not gonna focus like too much in this vlog on what I practice um, just because I did a whole video on what do I do like how do I practice when I feel like my technique needs a bit of a, a zhuzh or a bit of a you know proofing or anything like that sorry if you can hear Tilly I've just put her down for a nap and she's not happy about it having a puppy is very similar to having a baby in lots of ways it turns out um, but she'll settle as soon as I start playing which is quite cute actually she quite likes she seems quite like it we have classic FM on for her a lot of the time and then she seems to really like it when I play which is really really nice um but yes anyway so if you want to see like the details of what I actually do when I practice then um go and check out that video because it's going to be very very similar today I just want to make sure that I'm you know I I always like to have played my instrument on the day of a gig just because Otherwise, I often find like it takes me a long time to warm up, like a long time. And I often find like you probably don't have that kind of time before, particularly before a wedding, you know, you'll have time to sort of play through things a little bit, top and tail, that sort of thing. But there isn't like a rehearsal beforehand, so to speak. So, um, yeah, so I always like to have played that day just because I find it makes my warm up just much much faster later on um and i have some recordings next week as well which i want to make sure that i am yes in tip top condition for so yes i'm gonna do a little bit of practice and then it'll be walk the dog time and then it'll probably be leave for the gig time so you know today's a good day tell me you're going on a dog walk without telling me you're going on a dog walk <laughs> sometimes um I feel like I'm a little bit too fashion, you know? I don't know, let me, let me know what you guys think. kind of bypassed me completely and um yeah well I'm listening to her right now on Spotify and absolute bangers I I am I'm enjoying them immensely so if you have not got on the Hannah Montana train yet like myself at the grand old age of 28 29 next week whoo, then um yeah, highly recommend Tilly would be enjoying it But you know, she's a bit of a snob, though. Like I say, classic FM all the way to her. Okay, a little bit of a switch back to how I would normally film my videos, but this is actually a. You know, I'm filming for my other channel at the moment, which is just a very quick. Because I thought I may as well film how I'm doing my makeup for the gig so all i've done is basically i've just used a bit of my um kiko palette which i thought i didn't use this this morning did i i've just topped it up i've literally i put a bit more of this shade on and then i deepened it up with this warmer tone and this is the kiko holiday gems gorgeous eyeshadow palette i love 
this palette for traveling this is coming with me like all the time i'm off to london not next week but like you know the week after and this is the one that i'm going to take with me because you can just do everything with it so i've just put a bit more of that on and then i used this elf little duo and it is the pomegranate grenade little duo palette and i've used the blush out here and then i also use the highlighter as my eyeshadow sorry my camera died and i don't know which bit i was saying but i was basically talking about the fact that i just put on the highlighter shade as like a sort of eyeshadow topper um and then just put a bit more blush on and that's basically gonna be it i am gonna take the elf lipstick in taffy with me but i'm not gonna bother putting it on now because uh, perfectly honest i'm probably gonna have a smoothie in the car so there would be no point cute travel montage go so easy drive which was really really nice i love to drive here so much because it's really like kind of cotswoldy and really picturesque and like super super easy but anyway but yeah you'll probably have seen it just as i drove up but this is griffleton house so i absolutely adore playing here it's just stunning so yeah let's get inside and get going I'm fine where this is from actually. Anybody knows, let me know. It's one of the things I love about this house. You have these little secret entrances everywhere. So this is actually a door. Excellent wallpaper. Just like that, we are changed. So we're gonna go find out. I expect we're in the orangery, so I'm gonna go and uh, find out. arrangements I've ever seen. If anybody knows what this flower here is, then uh, let me know because it looks really unusual, but really beautiful. They've done this so nicely. There's like little tea lights everywhere and the obligatory fairy lights. Love it. Shifting shapes in millennia. We 
we are home again so I am very very tired I got very excited because I was going to get myself a McDonald's on the way home and then the queue for the drive through was ridiculous so I'm just gonna heat up some leftovers of last night's dinner which is a little bit tragic um but you know hey ho that's how how these things happen sometimes so Tilly and I are gonna get snuggled up on the sofa Tom is out tonight so yeah I'm gonna sign off this vlog here I really really hoped like I hope you enjoyed the whole thing I mean the gig went really really well I think I got a few little clips I know Sean got a couple on his GoPro so I hopefully will have inserted some of those lovely couple they were just lovely and yeah it's really nice guests and all good so um yeah so from me and this little fluff bucket, we will hopefully see you in another vlog. Let me know if you've enjoyed this kind of style of video. I know it's very, very different from what I normally do, but I just, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I was watching Carrie Hope Pledger and I was just really, really inspired to kind of do something a little bit similar. <laughs> so hopefully not copying though, but you know what I mean. I, like, I really enjoy her videos. Anyway, I need to shut up. I'm so tired. I'm just rambling. So... Good night and I will see you guys in the next one.